like, bro, you, you, bro, you corny as shit, bro. And he corny. He just corny. So I feel like that, you know what I mean? He deserves some pressure, too. I feel like tagging a nigga, yo, Pat, yo, I, yo, I, yo, you see, since, since real niggas do real things, tag Pat Pool. Yo, are you going to clear this allegation up, or do you want, or do you want me to? Bro, I will kill that nigga, bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, fuck is you talking about, nigga? I'm not going to go into y'all personal business, because I told her that's what she should do. Like, but... I'm putting the pressure on. Board. This is a battle rap trap exclusive. You know you that. I'll let that linger out. He don't gotta answer it, but it's gonna linger to the point that they're gonna be expecting me to think something. He need to clear it up or say no, and they gotta beat you the fuck up or some shit like that. He need to say something. You need to say it don't. Have, I don't. It don't even have to be in my favor. It is in my favor because once you say anything that I don't like, then I go live and boom, it's over. Man, listen, she she said, yo, this is what she, she don't want me to. She don't want me to. No lie. You know what I mean? She's been on my ass, like, asking me, like, please don't do it. I'm like, all right, copy. Let me tell you. But she also said this nigga made the first movie, put you in a fucked up position, so I can't tell you what to do. I'm just asking you, could you do that for me? But I keep saying, but what is he doing? If that's the case, why am I the only person doing something for you? Why he not though? That nigga the one who got 16 in, right? Talking about he held you down from jail. He the one that got 16 years in. Why this nigga not holding you down? This is a battle rap trap exclusive. Like, the nigga, all, he could have stopped all of that shit with a tweet. That same night when she made a jaw, I made a jaw, he could have made a jaw. Boom. Anything else that niggas would have ran with would have been on them. He wouldn't have had to say nothing. I wouldn't have had to have to force myself to go live. None of that shit, bro, because everybody spoke already. The fact that she said something, I said something, and you didn't, that make it look weird. The fact that you posted real niggas do real things the next day, make it look weird. The fact that you posted a Father's Day picture without her, make it look weird. This is a battle rap trap exclusive. I can't go live. Speculation, he fucked up, he waiting for this, yo, he got beat up. Not knowing, niggas don't really, niggas starting to try to figure it out like, yo, he fucking with Remy, but not knowing that I really, I've been with Shorty and she not, she telling me though. Niggas don't know that she's been at my crib since then. And that's what Oz is saying. Oz is like, hey, you the only nigga right now that's sacrificing your career. I mean, she getting killed too, so, but he like, she can just end that shit, but she still, at the end of the day, man, I know what it is. She not saying this is what it is, but I know what it is. She don't want the, she don't want this was about to happen. Nigga, this little bullshit right now is already hitting her, stressing her out. We like. Man, I don't know what the hell going on between this nigga Easy and Remy, but all I know is he talked too much. I ain't hear not one statement from Remy Ma as far as what really happened between her and Papoose. Because at the end of the day, nobody knows. The only thing we know for a fact is Remy Ma was popping early 2000s. She got locked up over some bullshit. I think she did like eight, nine years. And the story was Papoose held her down the whole time. Now, we don't know what he was doing. It was cheating or whatever. Then when they got out, it looked like they was back on, happy couple. Now some years done go down the line. Is the rumors of Remy Ma with this new dude who's a battle rapper. And all I've been hearing is stories from him. Now the story was, whatever they had going on, because Papoos, he not the type of nigga that want to get on the internet and gossip. That's what I respect about him. So all I could just assume is, a situation happened, he didn't hold her down, and she ran to this nigga. And they already had some type of relationship because he in a battle rap scene, and she battle rap as well. So, she was at his crib, probably venting to him, probably talking about Pop Hoos ain't this, he ain't doing that. And he probably was like, shit, F that nigga, you need to mess with me. And she cheated. And then Pop Hoos found out, punched that nigga in the face, and then he going doing all these interviews and shit. I just wonder how Remy feel about this. Like, she messing with this nigga now, her and Pop Hoos no longer together. And he just keep on talking about the relationship and it's getting shared all around the blog. I'm pretty sure she don't want nobody in her goddamn business. And I wouldn't trust no dude that look like he wear a lace front beard. Like, this nigga look corny as hell, man, but shit. Only time will tell, man. Maybe Remy gonna come out and speak about it. What y'all think about this, Bubby? Mm -hmm.